Welcome to Cleveland's Gigabit Breakfast Club. We're thrilled to have you here and uh, to our audience that is online watching us, welcome to Cleveland and to the Cleveland Botanical Gardens where orchid mania uh, is going on. So we hope those of you who are visiting will have a chance to also take in orchid mania. My name is Lev Gonick. I'm the vice president of Case Western Reserve University responsible for information technology. And uh, on behalf of my entire team uh, and all of our partners who are noted in the program, uh, we'd very much again like to welcome you to today's program. I want to invite you while you're just getting comfortable to pull out the program to take a bit of time to get to uh, sort of do a little bit of reading on the background of some of our distinguished guests. Uh, today's program really is on uh, demonstrating a alpha, that is to say a very first, just out of just out of the uh, wood shop, as it were, in this case, some fiber optic shops, um, a program that connects what we're doing here at the Botanical Gardens to uh, the uh, infrastructure uh, all around University Circle. And today we'll be demonstrating and visiting um, Alpha House. And uh, with that, maybe I can actually uh, get um, a chance to kind of just share with you a, a um, kind of how the morning is going to unfold. Uh, we want to invite all of you who are interested in doing um, a, a tour um, of the Alpha House uh, to uh, sign up or certainly after today, this morning's program, walk over with, with us at around 11.30, 11.45. Just across the street is the Alpha House. That's why we're, we're situated here at the Botanical Gardens this morning. You'll get a chance to um, actually walk around and see how the house is set up with all of the various services uh, that um, have been um, pulled, to, pulled together and will be part of this morning's uh, presentation um, activity. Okay, so maybe just to do that, what I thought we would do is maybe just go over to uh, the Alpha House, just so introduce you to Todd uh, Q. Adams. Uh, Todd is um, over at the Alpha House and um, is gonna be a bit of our uh, sort of concierge from a distance uh, and just give some of you here a chance to uh, meet Todd and some of the people who are over at the Alpha House. Good morning, Todd. Good morning, Lev, how are you this morning? Good morning, terrific. And just to sort of share with folks what's going on real time with Todd here is uh, literally uh, using uh, the gigabit connection that connects all of the University Circle, until today, institutions in University Circle, from today forward, not only the institutions, but also the homes um, in the neighborhood. This is our Alpha House. Todd, why don't you just take a moment and just share with the, the audience that's here at the Botanical Gardens, just a quick uh, pan of what's going on at the Alpha House. Absolutely, Lev. Uh, first of all, good morning to everyone over at uh, Botanical Gardens, as well as everyone who's uh, viewing over the internet. I would like to, first of all, introduce two of our students, Akiana Green and Darnisha Higgins from the Cleveland School of Science and Medicine. They will be our guest today and, and, and participating as part of our program. And what I'd like to do is also to just give you an overview of, uh, of uh, the program today, the tours that you, that you know about, and specifically the, the uh, tours in the application areas. Uh, we will actually have, beginning as you upon entry into Alpha House, you will actually have a student uh, portal demonstration to start upon entry. Uh, the 15-minute uh, uh, the tour will also be inclusive of four demonstrations, specific demonstrations in key application areas. Those include public safety, energy management, health care and wellness, as well as education. And just to kind of give you a quick snapshot of uh, each of those areas, um, we will look at and home, not only home security in the public safety arena, but also neighborhood security and see how high, high uh, uh, resolution video uh, enables uh, good neighborhood safety programs, positive safety programs, as well as collaboration with uh, first responders and, and uh, law enforcement uh, entities. As you know, in University Circle, there are multiple uh, jurisdictions, police jurisdictions in the, in the area. So that's one of the areas we're gonna outline, you'll see through the uh, actual demonstration, and Al will, do, Al will conduct that. Uh, the next area is energy management. You, you will see with direct connection to a, a ultra high speed network uh, in home devices and how the consumer can actually control his own energy, con uh, energy management as well as actually producing and collecting intelligent data about the customer. 
So it's really, uh, in this instance, it's about aggregating intelligent data, um, the customer driving uh, his energy and management, his or her energy management, and also uh, energy conservation, obviously. And of course, one of the great, uh, one of the great bit of, uh, Factors or, or benefits of that would be uh, being a, uh, being a responsible to our planet with that and with the energy conservation. Uh, the next area is healthcare. Healthcare will focus on patient uh, uh, data monitoring as well as activity monitoring. Tony will actually walk us through some some app, some actual devices and applications that actually collect data and in, in, in those respective areas. And you'll see the convergence of healthcare and wellness and also uh, integration with electronic medical records. So that's one, uh, another area that you'll see, and then actually you'll see the, the connection between uh, health, wellness, and also ways in which we can improve patient-doctor relationships and improve the uh, healthcare delivery model uh, via, via the, the technology. And the other area, the, the last, is education. Wendy will actually walk us through um, uh, the education model. We will look at uh, the virtual classroom. So you'll enter a virtual classroom, uh, and, and part of that will be inclusive of uh, learning and understanding how high uh, quality video actually drives uh, a, a curriculum design and how an, in, an innovation in curriculum, and you, I think you'll get a real good understanding of that, as well as global collaboration, and it is very important. And so with all of that, it all kind of, kind of comes back and culminates with education, and that's why we also have the students here, and it all factors in, in, into, uh, in, into that, uh, that piece. And, and lastly, I think it would, I would be remiss if I didn't say that, you know, we act, act, although we mentioned all of these areas specifically and, and as individual entities, we're, we're looking really at ultra high speed broadband networks are actually powering uh, applications in ways that actually help create sustainable communities. But it's doing so, but you could look at it in a way that it's really a sustainable community ecosystem. So all of these applications help to drive and improve the quality of our everyday lives. So with that being said, I think that underscores the importance for broadband adoption. And I think as we'll be able to see upon taking the tour, you'll see the importance uh, of all of that, as well as that ecosystem and how we can look at uh, ways of uh, improving the way we live, work, and play. And lastly, I'd like to thank uh, all of our contributors and everyone who made this day possible. There's a lot of collaboration, there, there's a lot of uh, technology, there's a lot of uh, in-kind services and, and, and efforts. So we'd like to thank everyone for that. And please refer to your program for, for those listing of, of those participants and those contributors. And we're gonna look, you know, we're really excited about the, the tours. We wanna welcome you to Alpha House. I hope I provided you with a, a snapshot of what, you, of what you'll see today. And uh, we'll look forward to you and we'll welcome you later this afternoon. Thanks, Todd, that's terrific. Thank and you. so that gives you a little bit of a sense. Through the morning, we're actually gonna be going back and forth to visit with uh, the students, actually, who will be participating in many of our demos. And, and thanks to um, all of the students who are here. Um, as well as the students who are over at the Alpha House. We hope that uh, we, you find this exciting and compelling uh, demonstrations.